Hey guys, we're going to do a quick tutorial in Adobe Premiere today on how to use a warp stabilizer to stabilize camera footage. Uh, go ahead and apply warp stabilizer to the clip you're using. Just go ahead and start type warp in the effects search and you'll see warp stabilizer. Go ahead and drag that onto your video clip and then it will open up here in effect controls. You'll see it's already starting to analyze it. It's going to go through all your frames of your video and uh, figure out the best stabilization for it. It'll do this in the background while you keep working but it does take quite a while to do uh, depending on how fast your computer is even if your computer is pretty fast uh, my computer is fast with a uh, great video card for GPU uh, support and RAM but it still takes quite a while so you're gonna have to let it run through uh, it'll kinda give you a timer countdown and what frame it's on so you gotta let it run through this process and you must uh, complete this before you render out your video so if you have clips that are not uh, been analyzed yet then when you go if you export your movie before it's still gonna have this band right through the middle of your video so you gotta make sure the clips that you apply this to uh, have been uh, completed through the analyzing process otherwise you're gonna have this in your final video which you don't want to see so it can take a while it just majorly depends on how big your clip is this clip is about a minute long so it takes longer if you have a real long video you're trying to stabilize I would suggest trying to cut it down to uh, only what you need before you apply the warp stabilizer to study the footage otherwise you're gonna just be waiting a long time so that's it guys once it's done you can play your video back and it'll be nice and smooth uh, there's some options on here but really default is the best so I would just leave it like that but that's it guys thanks for watching hope this help uh, after this is complete then your video will be nice and smooth and stabilized and you'll have no more shaky camera Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my channel for other tutorial videos with Adobe and Premiere, Photoshop, everything like that. So thanks for watching.